Are EVs really better for the climate? Are electric cars really the way to save the environment that they're said to be? Or is there more to the story? Have you ever thought about whether the environmental impact of electric vehicles is really as good as we think it is, taking into account things like how batteries are made and where the energy comes from? We look more closely at the whole span of electric cars in this video to see if they really are better for the environment. I get asked this question more than any other regarding electric cars. Are they really a cleaner option? While it goes without saying that an all-electric car produces no emissions from its exhaust, many are concerned about the emissions that come from producing the electricity needed to charge an EV. The most recent research confirms that utilizing electricity instead of gasoline results in much lower emissions, and that the difference is increasing over time. We have crunched the most recent data on emissions from electricity-generating plants for 2018. Data for 2018 has just been released. The average EV generates the same amount of greenhouse gas pollution as a gasoline vehicle with 88 miles per gallon of fuel economy, according to regions where EVs have been sold. That is substantially cleaner than the typical new gasoline car or truck sold in the US, which gets 21 mech and far better than the most efficient gasoline automobile, which gets 58 mech. Furthermore, compared to our earlier estimate from two years ago, our estimate for EV emissions is nearly 10% lower. Currently, 94% of Americans reside in a place where using an EV reduces pollution compared to a 15 amp gasoline vehicle. EV emissions have decreased nationwide. The combined city highway fuel efficiency rating of a gasoline car that would have emissions comparable to operating an EV is represented by the MEC miles per gallon figure provided for each location. The EPA's EGRID 2018 database, which contains 2018 power plant data, is the basis for regional global warming emissions assessments issued January 2020. The GRI 2019 model from Argonne National Laboratory is used to compare the emissions estimates for the production of gasoline and power fuels during various operations, including extraction, transportation, and refining. Sales weighted by the locations in which electric vehicles were sold from September 2011 to September 2019, the U.S. average is 88 MAC. We examined every emission produced during the filling and operation of both gasoline and electric-powered vehicles in order to compare the emissions that contribute to climate change between them. This includes, in addition to combustion emissions from the tailpipe, emissions from the extraction of crude oil from the ground, transportation of the oil to a refinery, production of gasoline, and delivery of fuel to filling stations. The computation for electric vehicles takes into account emissions from power plants, as well as emissions from the production of natural gas, coal, and other fuels used by power plants. Our research is based on U.S. EPA released power plant emissions data, as well as emissions estimates for gasoline and fuels production from Argonne National Laboratory using the GRI Key 2019 model. The data, which accounted for the emissions from U.S. power plants in 2018, was made public in January 2020. When all these things are taken into account, driving an average EV results in lower emissions related to global warming than driving an average new gasoline automobile across the United States. An average new gasoline automobile will emit four to seven times as much emissions as an average electric vehicle EV in some parts of the country. In upstate New York, for instance, the typical EV has emissions comparable to a fictitious 231 gasoline vehicle. To have emissions as low as the typical EV in California, a gasoline-powered vehicle would also need to score 122 mc. Emissions from EVs are on average 10% lower than in our previous analysis, which included data from 2016 power plants. There are two main sources of the reductions. Between 2016 and 2018, the U.S. power plant emissions rate decreased by more than 5%. Reduced coal-based output and increases in natural gas, wind, and solar power are the causes of the decline. Since our previous analysis, the average efficiency of EVs sold in the U.S. has increased by almost 6%. Sales of Tesla's Model 3, one of the most efficient cars available, were the cause of this. The Model 3's efficiency has a discernible effect on the computation of average EV efficiency, as it currently accounts for more than 20% of all EVs and more than one-third of battery electric cars ever sold in the U.S. Even more striking is the difference from our initial 2012 analysis of greenhouse gas emissions from gasoline and electric vehicles using power plant data from 2009. Almost all of the U.S. currently lives in an area where an EV produces fewer emissions than a 50 m automobile, compared to less than half in our initial evaluation. While improved EV efficiency has played a role in the improvement, the decrease in electricity generation from coal power stations has been the main driver. In less than 10 years, coal-based electricity has decreased from 45% to 28%, and 
In 2018, the amount of electricity generated by solar and wind power increased from less than 2% to 8% of Americans living in a best region for EVs, from 2009 to 2016 to 201,845%, 75%, and 94%. Part of the electrical system where an EV emits fewer emissions than a car that gets 50 miles per gallon 16 of 26, 9 of 26, 22 out of 26 U.S. electricity sources are coal-fired power plants 30%, 28%, and 45% of U.S. electricity comes from solar and wind energy 2%, 7%, and 8%. EVs are more efficient than gas cars, so car customers can choose to be even greener. Among the most efficient electric vehicles on the market is the Tesla Model 3. Efficient electric vehicles EVs, reduce driving-related greenhouse gas emissions. In the US, the average new gasoline vehicle is not as clean as the average electric vehicle. However, you will save much more pollutants when you convert from gasoline to electricity if you select the most efficient EV on the market. In California, for instance, driving a 2020 Tesla Model 3 standard range plus results in emissions equivalent to a 161 mat gasoline vehicle, which is less than 5% of the average new gasoline car's global warming emissions and more than 60% less than even the most efficient gasoline vehicle. Furthermore, driving an EV in upstate New York can result in emissions that are as little as 10% of those of a typical new gasoline-powered vehicle. Both new and used electric vehicles will get cleaner as the grid gets cleaner. One clear benefit that electric vehicles have over gasoline-powered cars is that, as the grid becomes cleaner, so do their emissions. As long as gasoline-powered vehicles predominantly run on petroleum, their fuel economy and emissions are set. In almost every U.S. state, operating the most efficient electric vehicle, EV, results in reduced emissions compared to gasoline-powered vehicles. Emissions from operating the cleanest EV in upstate New York are a tenth of those from an average new gasoline vehicle. Even said, larger EVs can result in fewer emissions. This all-electric SUV is called the Audi e-tron. Due to its larger size, it is less efficient than many other EVs, but it still has a lower carbon footprint than a comparable fuel SUV vehicle. Larger EVs, such as SUVs and pickup trucks, are gradually going into production and more including an electric Hummer SUV are scheduled to arrive soon. Bigger cars are less efficient, regardless of whether they run on gasoline or electricity. There is still a benefit to moving from gasoline to electricity, though. Consider the Audi e-tron EV SUV, which is among the least efficient EVs on the market with a 0.46 kilowatt hours per mile consumption. With a fuel efficiency rating of only 18 mech, a most similar gasoline-powered SUV is the Audi Q8, which is likewise inefficient for a gasoline-powered vehicle. Even on the dirtiest electricity grids in the US, the Audi e-tron electric SUV will emit fewer pollutants while in motion than the Audi Q8 with a gasoline engine. Furthermore, an electric SUV contributes less than 25% of the greenhouse gas emissions of a gasoline-powered SUV on the cleanest grids. Driving the electric version of this car will result in less than half the greenhouse gas emissions of the gasoline-powered variant for over 90% of the population. Emissions from the Audi e-tron electric SUV and the Audi Q8 gasoline SUV. More emissions from EVs than from gasoline EVs can reduce pollution by up to 50%. EVs can reduce emissions by 50 to 75%. More than 75% reduction in emissions when using EVs. One way to lower transportation emissions is using EVs. In the U.S., trucks and passenger cars contribute significantly to greenhouse gas emissions. Making the transition from gasoline to electricity is essential to cutting emissions and mitigating the worst effects of climate change. It's just one of many options we must employ, though. Strong fuel efficiency and emission regulations are necessary to ensure that the majority of automobiles sold in the next five years are as clean as possible, since gasoline-powered cars will be used in many of them. Emissions can also be decreased by taking steps to minimize driving overall, whether it be with EVs or gasoline. Using public transportation, walking and biking more frequently, and sharing rides are all crucial ways to combat climate change. However, converting to an electric vehicle for personal vehicle trips, which we currently cannot avoid, may significantly reduce the amount of greenhouse gas emissions we produce and is one of the biggest steps a household can take to lessen their carbon footprint. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our in-depth analyses, expert reviews, and exciting discussions.